This video demonstrates how you can use alerts in Sentinel to investigate a data breach activity. This video assumes that you have a basic knowledge of Sentinel. OP is responsible for investigating and triaging alerts to monitor any suspicious behavior. OP wants to view if there are any alerts for the payroll server. So, he has created the payroll server alerts alert view to view and manage all alerts related to the payroll server. OP goes to Sentinel web interface. He clicks real-time views, alert views, payroll server alerts and clicks open the alert view icon to view all alerts related to the payroll server. OP sees that there are three new alerts named unauthorized payroll server access from the Utopia payroll server. He clicks view details to view the details of the first alert. The alert source indicates that some unauthorized user has accessed the payroll server. He checks the alert data and scrolls down further to see the events associated with the alert. He sees that the initiator username is tmelon. He clicks tmelon to look up for more information about the user. He sees that the full name is Terry Mellon and views all the recent activities by Terry Mellon. After viewing the activities, OP talks to Chip Nano, Terry's manager, and understands that Terry is doing some security upgrades on the payroll server for the rest of the week. So, OP adds a knowledge base entry to indicate that alerts from Terry Mellon should be ignored. He lowers the priority of the alert and changes the state to investigating so that any similar alerts from Terry Mellon in future will increment the occurrence count for the same alert instead of creating a new alert each time. OP moves on to see the details of the second alert. He sees that it is another alert related to Terry. He doesn't need two open alerts tracking the same thing. So he lowers the priority of this alert and changes the state to closed. OP moves on to see the details of the third alert. He scrolls down to view the events that triggered the alert, so that he can view the name of the user that triggered these events. He sees that initiator username is jsmith. He clicks jsmith to look up for more information about the user. He sees that the initiator was Jane Smith and is in human resources. OP thinks maybe it is okay for her to be accessing the payroll server, but decides to do a little more investigation before calling her manager to verify the same. OP looks up the recent activities of Jane Smith. OP scrolls down and understands that the resulting event search results indicate various suspicious events, particularly the one entitled User Activity from Different Country. OP opens the alert dashboard for further investigation. He opens the alert dashboard and clicks the icon to view the most recent alerts. The source country map on the alert dashboard indicates that alerts are originating from the US and China. Alerts originating from China is unusual as Jane belongs to US. He clicks China to view only the alerts originating from China. He scrolls down and checks the alert details and sees that the name is J. Smith. OP suspects that Jane Smith's account may be compromised. OP navigates back to update the alert with his observation. He changes the priority of the alert to urgent and saves it. He realizes that this issue is too big for him to handle and needs to be escalated to Joe. OP clicks Escalate, creates a new incident and specifies the reason for escalation. He fills in all details and assigns the incident to Joe so that he can investigate the incident in detail. With this, OP completes triaging alerts that were in new state. This concludes the video. Thank you for watching. For more information about alerts, see the Sentinel documentation.